make a note in your diary. April is Allium month. Now you might not know, but Allium is the Latin name for garlic. But it also refers to the genus of plants that are onions, chives, leeks, shallots, and of course, garlic. Timing is important for most veggie crops, but for alliums, it's essential. Their growth patterns correspond with how much sunshine they get. So that's day length and temperature. To get big, fat garlics or onions, you need to make sure they have a lot of leaf growth before the day lengthens. When this happens, they stop growing leaves and they start growing bulbs. Alliums hate a crowd, meaning they hate to compete for space. From things like weeds, big sticks, large bits in the soil like rocks, as well as large clods. This is especially important for subterranean alliums like garlic. So you need to make sure that you've cultivated your soil well, so it's light and fluffy and friable. They also like a sweeter soil. So I'm adding a good handful of dolomite lime every square metre. This will raise the pH of the soil by one and add a good amount of calcium and magnesium, which will give these plants a good start and keep them growing healthy through the season. The soil here at the patch is beautiful, but I'm still digging it over well to break up the clods. If your soil isn't quite up to scratch, you might need to add a barrel load of homemade compost every two square metres or so. And you can try a bit of aged manure, but never use it fresh. You'll just end up with soft, sappy, pest prone onions. There are hundreds of different varieties of garlic. And the good news is there'll be one or two that are well suited to your conditions. My advice would be try a couple of varieties. They all mature at different times, which means you'll be able to enjoy your garlic for a lot longer throughout the year. I've got three varieties today. I've got the Spanish Roja or Spanish Red. It's a tight little bulb that has nice little cloves, really punchy with the flavor. The other one is the Dungansky. It's a pretty monstrous sized bulb. This usually indicates a lack of taste, but I guarantee you that this one is jam packed full of flavor. And the last one is the elephant garlic. Technically, it's a leek with a nice smooth flavor. And if you're in a warmer part of the country, this might be the variety for you. Break your bulbs apart into individual cloves, remembering to leave the papery coating on. Always choose the biggest of your cloves. These will perform the best. Now here's a good little tip. As garlic needs a good chill to start shooting, I like to plant in furrows, so the cloves are just covered. I found they shoot well, and as they grow, you can backfill around them. Plant them about 15 centimeters apart, and remember, pointy end up. Now I know the elephant garlic is a leek, but plant it just like a garlic. Here's a fairly unusual one. I've had a lot of success with these in my own garden. They're called a potato or multiplier onion. And they get this name because they multiply as rampantly as potatoes do. Now they're a small onion, and you'd be forgiven for thinking they're a shallot. They're in the same group, but whereas shallots are long and skinny, potato onions are short and fat. Now I'm gonna give them about 20 centimeters apart because they multiply a lot and from one bulb, you can get up to 30 developing. I've planted a lot of bulbs today, but some plants do better as seedlings, like leeks. Now I know it's getting a little bit late in the season, but this particular variety, Durabelle, should go well into the spring. And if they do bolt, then that's not a problem because the flowers are absolutely beautiful. Now you space them about 10 centimetres apart. I like to use a stick. You just make a nice big hole and plant them quite deeply. That way you'll get a good juicy succulent stem to nibble on. Probably the easiest and quickest allium to grow would be the spring onion. I've got a variety called red beard, which produces a thick red base. They're so simple to plant. Just lay the individual seedlings in a furrow and then backfill to cover the roots. Don't worry about standing the stringy little things up. In a few days, they'll do that themselves. I'm watering in the seedlings of the spring onions and the leeks, but not the bulbs. 
That's because they're not in active growth. So if you keep them too wet, they can rot in the ground. Well, to recap, April is allium month. Cultivate your soil well, sweeten it with a little bit of lime and plant them in an open sunny position. Well, that's Shalot. Sure